What's up you guys? Coach Nick here, GMU Muay Thai. Um, this is going to be a four part series. So we're going to talk about this really cool new invention called the RXT1 uh, by Strike. And it's basically a sparring robot. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit of the history of this. So basically uh, this is created by someone named Brent. Um, and uh, he had boxing experience and I think he was prototyping uh, this thing on, on his own at home. And uh, during the pandemic, that's when I noticed this thing. You know, we weren't going to the gym. It was, it was impossible to spar people, right? Unless you did it on the down low. I actually invited some students outside my dojo to train on the hill and do outside sparring with elevation mass and all that stuff. Uh, so when I saw this, there, there was a Kickstarter and uh, a huge discount for a Kickstarter. And if you, uh, if you were one of the early backers, you would get one of the first um, finished versions. So I believe I was in the first wave. I got it really early. And um, so I want to talk about the process of how to install this. That is part one, because there's a lot. It's not just, it's not very simple. There's, you, you have to look out for a lot of things and we'll go into it soon. Part two of this series, we're going to talk about the different settings. So there, there are different settings you can use for what your goals are. And then part three are going to be some methods, uh, how to approach maybe training and how you can get better at certain skill sets. And number four is when you can really utilize this to emulate uh, a sparring, a sparring session, you know, just with hands though, because there's no legs. It's basically just four arms, uh, like Dr. Octopus, upper half of his body coming at you. All right. So let's talk about the first part. This is part one. Part one, you're going to have to mount this on something really sturdy, okay? So first of all, you don't want to put this on your drywall. Uh, it does have some weight to it. Um, I think it's about 25 pounds or so, um, and it moves, right? These mechanical arms are gonna be moving up, down, left, right, all around. So, um, and it, it, you also are gonna make impact with this. Uh, I have the optional body pad, so if you punch this thing, it's gonna take impact, and there's also the head, right? So. Um, you want to mount this on something that's pretty sturdy. I have this on a one inch plywood. So this is the back. This is the, uh, the artificial wall that I had built for my Zebra GMAU uh, wall padding. So it's nice and strong. I felt pretty confident about that. Um, now the, the materials they give you are actually made to uh, bore into a concrete wall. And in that concrete wall, um, you have these big these big studs you put right through, uh, these big bolts you put right through. Um, they're kind of like lag bolts, but they can also, uh, they also have a nut on the other side. And so that's where you kind of have to play with. I had to modify mine slightly. So depending on how handy you are, you actually may want to hire uh, your local handyman or someone that's, that has a lot of tools. Uh, luckily I had a drill press. Uh, I have a, a lot of different, and I also had to use um, a lot of plastic spacers just to get the distance right. And you'll see what I mean because with the parts they give you, they give you uh, um, all the parts to install this with the idea that you're gonna put this into concrete. So um, you may need someone that has a bunch of different hardware on them and is able to solve problems. So I did it myself, but some of you may wanna just, if you get this, uh, hire someone just to save time and stress and not mess it up because once you install it, that's it. You want to set it. You want to set it and forget it, right? So um, that's it. And then once you mount the plate, right, that's the plate mount, then you put the RXT1 robot and it's height adjustable. It's a lot like a, a speed bag. There's some speed bags that you'll see that are height adjustable. You can move them up and down. It's the same thing here. It reminds me a lot of speed bags I've seen. There's a little knob here. You pull on it. You can push it up or down. It's also like a piece of workout equipment where you can adjust it by pulling this spring-loaded knob, you move it up or down. So just to summarize, part one, it's really about the installation. You have to make sure you have um, somewhere suitable to install this. If you don't have access to sparring or to get regular uh, reaction times in, this is why this thing's cool. But you have to make sure you have a space for it. So, I mean, this is about, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be wide. If I go right up to it, it's... I'm a little bit wider than this thing if I outstretch both of my arms. Um, and you have to make sure you have enough height. So depending on how tall you are, the RXT1 um, is going to be, it has these long arms, they're about uh, two feet long. So two feet above the head height that you want the RXT1 
is the ceiling height that you want and you want to have width. But probably the most important thing that you want is to have a strong uh, wall to, uh, to mount this on. So concrete is what they recommended in the instructions. I have plywood. Um, now you could, you could probably, uh, another way to solve this is you can have some plywood, some thick plywood and mount it on the studs in your wall. Your studs are going to be probably, what is it, 16, 18 inches apart. And uh, then you can just probably work with the drywall knowing that their studs, get a stud finder, know where those, uh, those, the, um, the studs are so you can, you can mount the plywood and then you can mount the mounts on there and then you'd have, you'd have more uh, stability and strength. Of course, you want to have it be as strong as possible, so um, as thick of plywood board as you can and maybe as big as you can so it's just rock steady. Even have it go down to the floor if you can. My plywood, these are giant sheets. I think they're four by eights. So they go all the way to the floor, all the way up, and they're wide and super stable. So that's part one. Uh, our next part we're going to do, uh, we're going to focus on the settings because there's a lot. All right? See you next time.